Hello everyone, this is Zeno Zimmer here and welcome back to Let's Play Blast Master Zero. Last time we were in the forest area and this time oh, we're in the residential area which was, let's just say in the original, it was hell. Literal hell. These glow blocks, we can't do anything about. I did that in my own playthrough as well. Can't wait until we get one of our upgrades. Uh, we can't do anything down there still. There's a lot of searching, so I'm sorry. This is where things actually start plot. giving you the blast master feel. It's a Metroidvania. What do you expect? Now we can ignore it. Oh, maybe we can't. Go on which path was the real path. We've got map 2, which is going to be very helpful. And we've got what back. I am thankful the second free game did something about this. Except, except for where the silver sign is coming from. And now, let's just move on. I'm surprised it didn't take a hit. I really should have, if I'm being honest. Can't wait till we destroy these, because it feels weird not to. And then again, it feels weird using Thunderbreaker, because. Once we get to the upper weapon we can get, you don't really use anything else. So much better. Okay, let's check. Let's go up. Uh, those bee things will go away soon. Let's go. Definitely someone here. Is it the frog? No. I think what's just hilarious to me about this is that this, this is basically just a human big the cat. Jason is basically big without a fishing rod. Just searching for his lost frog. Oh, it's this boss. Bibby Legion. This is annoying because it's just more of... They take forever to come on screen and it's annoying. Come on.
really? It's still not done? Like I said, I hate this boss because it just takes so long. I'm glad that enemy rushes really weren't a thing in 2 and 3. Grant, this game is trying to just remake the original Blast Master, but good. Axe! <laughs> Grab the homing missiles! As a woman fires a missile but pursues the tar target enemy. And in the original, it sucked. Hmm, <laughs> that's weird. The scene was coming from just gone. Nothing to do except for a little of comes from. The homing missiles! Fires a missile but pursues its target. Seems pretty good. In the original game, if there was an enemy too small, it would just keep circling it. It was annoying. But what's annoying in this game is that they're not powerful. I mean, they're sort of are, but they're also sort of not, which is annoying. But this is the weapon you'll be using for quite a while because it's it's got more uses. At least until we get to Water World. Alright, let's grab this and this. Now let's climb up here. Get in. I think this is the area with... Oh yes, this gimmick. This gimmick isn't bad in this game. It's in 3 where there's a really annoying dungeon with this gimmick, I'm quite sure. It's not the worst. The worst dungeon, Jason Dungeon, comes in 2. But then again, I really do not like Jason's stages in 2. I don't mind the bosses, the bosses are actually really fun. It's just the stages themselves. A certain puzzle stage being my bane. And of course a certain planet. Play Krabby Lava Larva. Playing with Babies. I'll be surprised if no one knows where that's from. It's such a meme. Oh, come on. Einstein. Still, they're infants. Okay, they're stupid infants. Such a good, such a such a so good is bad. So such a so bad is good movie. And oh, finally, laser shot. A shot by computers free train. Hold the shoot button to charge and then release the fire. I was thinking of something else though. Hmm, that's weird. I. Uh, yeah, and that's why I probably just go through as much of the game. Now, if I activate laser. Nice, isn't it? And better yet, if I'm correct, yep, it goes through walls. It's good. It's good. Okay. Uh. 
we need to go up because we cannot go to the bottom one yet. We need something else. I'm not quite sure of what we get from here gives us that. Single thing to put everyone to the following up to now. Now I'm all curious. Okay, we've got a look see. Let's go! Let's bring the striker. Mostly because these enemies are annoying. Risk that. Not smart move. Now we run. I'll try and find that one. Reload. 
really? Until we get a certain upgrade, we can't, we can't really do much about this. Joking. Come on. Quick, 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 before it runs out. There we go. Ignore them. There's no point. <sighs> Don't have wave. That should be fine. No, it won't. Oops. I actually pressed. Sorry about that. that we move around the crusher shot this weapon powers up so he gives me a weapon and destroys certain mm -hmm. controls but there's a door and there's a woman doing what's the person doing here hey I'm here to help are you all right Come on, open your eyes. For the moment I held her in my arms, my blast rifle began <laughs> to emit a supreme light. I'm sorry, I watched too many very dirty YouTube videos with dirty minds. <laughs> the light was getting bigger, bigger and totally fast. Oh. This is meant to be serious, but I cannot. What the? What's going on? What? Thank goodness. You're awake. I... I... You can do it. Let's get over... Let's get you over to Sophia for now. Hang in there. Man, who is this girl? Seems like Masino came from her. And the last rifle wrecked her somehow. I think Skrull and Sophia are connected. Uh, hmm? Who are you? How did I? Don't worry, everything's okay. When you're feeling up to it, I want to hear your story. Thank you for helping me. Could I ask your name? Sure, I'm Jason Frontneck. You can call me Jason. Jason! I'm Eve. Got it. Don't mean to rush you, Eve. There's a lot I need to ask you. I listened to her story, found the reason why she's here, and learned that she seems to have lost a lot of her memory. On top of that, when it came to tuning up and doing maintenance on Sophia, her skills blow mine out of the water. It's so strange, though. I feel like I remember this sensation. <laughs> and that's her story. I still feel like I have a lot more to learn about her, though. Hey Jason, I'm finished tuning up Sophia. Thanks Eve. By the way, now you're back on your feet, what are you going to do now? Well, if it's okay with you, do you think I'll be able to join you? You helped me so much back there. I want to return the favour. 
If you're using Sophia to find Fred, I think it could really help you out. I might be here about that, but there's a good chance we're gonna have to fight some mutants. It'll just be just you know it'll be just as dangerous. No, probably even more dangerous than what happened here. I know, but if you're in danger, I might be able to save you too. That's she's absolutely right. I'm bound to run into things that I won't be able to do on my own going forward. <coughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. If it was dangerous for her on her own, then I'm sure I will be just as dangerous for me too. You got gun. I don't think so. Good to give her so we do it. But I wonder why she's so eager to lend me a hand. I guess that's an open? In that case, if you leave. Come on, don't say stuff like that. I want you to help me out. Oh! Okay. You got it. Leave it to me. Looks like Fresno is coming from a different area now. I think it's an industrial area. Industrial area. Industrial area, huh? Okay, let's check it out. One more thing, if you ever want to talk to me, just see where I come from to subscribe. There's a lot of stuff I love to talk to you, so I'm here. So chat anytime you want to talk about it. And she is right! So... You know what? Let's talk to Eve. Laser shot! This main weapon, you can hold on the shoot button to charge shot, then release it to fire. While its attack power may not be high, this fire lays out can pierce through walls and enemies. Also, its charge time is short, and it can seem to speak, so go ahead and use it to your heart's content. Home missile. Yeah. And I believe she'll just keep repeating herself now. I guess friends on here, let's uh, Yeah. But if we go inside. Select a weapon, and then call her. Gun the wave. Wave. It's powerful, it's piercing, and it's just an all-around strong weapon. It's effective in pretty much any situation, so keep that gun level up. She can tell you even about Jason's weapons. But let's get going. No need to wait. Try and go down there. Because we do want to go down there, I believe. Because that's where we've got a really good weapon. Well, don't think it's actually a weapon. Oh my god. That's not good. Now let's roll. Not dealing with those bugs. But we can't get higher than this. We'll eventually have a way. But right now, we can. Let's move. Inside. Oh, bless. At least we'll get the best thing. In addition, it was added to Blast Master Zero. An addition I really like. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone away with that, but I did, so. I don't care. Energy Guard. Prevent your gun level from dropping when taking damage. Guard your spirits after one hit, but regenerate, regenerate again over time. This makes the game a joke. Granted, you can turn it off. So if you want a challenge run, or want to feel like the original, you can.
Now, let's head up to the next area to end off the episode. Air free? Jason, I was afraid something was coming from the vicinity. Is there any way we can get to a, get a specific location? Well, let's say I can only receive the signal, not trace it. Sorry, but it's the best I can do. Hey, it's not your fault. We'll just have to search for him. The old fashioned way. Hang on a sec. Looks like this here are still operation. And haven't been so for a while. Let's stay on alert. You never know what might happen. Next time, on Blaster Master Zero. Hopefully, we'll find that damn frog! <laughs> See you guys then. Xeno and Zuma. Signing out. Ah. <laughs> oh.